Hydraulics. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. Water. Go. Centaur systems. Propulsion. Go. Pneumatics. Go. LO2. Go. LH2. Go. Has gas. Go. Electrical systems. Airborne. Go. Ground. Go. Facility. Go. RF FTS. Go. Flight control. Go. GCQ. Go. Operation support. Go. Com. Go. Umbilicals. Go. DCS. Go. Redline monitor. Go. Quality. Go. Op safety manager. Go. ULA safety officer. Go. Vehicle system engineer. Go. Anomaly chief. Go. Range coordinator. Clear to proceed. Launch director. Launch vehicle is ready to launch. Mission director. You have permission to launch. Proceeding with account. ALC, verify T0 is set. Or one zero colon one nine zero. Verify. Twenty eight. ECS reduced for launch. Roger. Twenty five. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go STP three. T minus ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket with the STP 3 mission for the United States Space Force. The vehicle has cleared the tower and is beginning the pitch over program. And the RD 180 is throttling down slightly as expected. Engine response looks good. Passing 20 seconds of the flight, the PU system has gone to closed loop control. Uh, SRB chamber pressures continue to look nominal. RD-180 pump speed and fuel injector pressure fuel injector pressures continue to look good. Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. Passing 45 seconds in the flight, the uh, vehicle is now passing through max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. And the RD-180 is throttling back up as expected. Engine response looks good. Passing one minute into flight, the vehicle is now uh, nine miles in altitude, uh, seven miles downrange, traveling at 2,200 miles per hour. And the RD-180 is throttling down again as expected. Uh, engine response looks good. Standing by for SOB burnout shortly. Just past a minute and a minute and a half into flight, uh, we have burnout on all five SRBs. Uh, burnout pressure signatures are looking good, and the RD-180 is being throttled back up as expected following SRB burnout. Uh, standing by for jettison shortly. And we have good indication of jettison of all five SRBs, and the vehicle has gone to closed loop Q-Alpha limited steering uh, following SRB jettison. Uh, body rates are looking good. And coming up on two and a half minutes into flight, uh, a little over two minutes remaining in the uh, boost phase of flight. And the RD-180 is now uh, throttling to maintain a constant or a 2.5 G acceleration limit. Engine response and vehicle response looks good. And the Centaur Reaction Control System is now pressurizing the flight levels. Passing three minutes into flight, the uh, RD-180 pump speeds and fuel injector pressures continue to look good. Uh, the vehicle body rates look very good for uh, this phase in flight. And the vehicle is now uh, 65 miles in altitude, 150 miles downrange, traveling at 7,800 miles per hour. 
standing by for a payload fairing jettison shortly. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. And we have Centaur forward load reactor deck jettison. And the RD-180 is throttling back up as expected. Engine response looks good. And the RD-180 is now throttling to maintain a constant 5G acceleration limit. Uh, engine response continues to look good. And Centaur has begun the uh, boost phase chill down portion of flight to thermally condition the RL-10 for operation. And we've had BECO, booster engine cutoff. And we've had successful stage separation. And saying pre-start on the RL-10. And we've had ignition for the first burn. Uh, this will be the first of three Centaur burns for today's mission and will last a little under six minutes. The RL-10 startup parameters are looking good and seeing the body rates close out nicely. This is Atlas Mission Control at T plus five minutes and 21 seconds. You just heard our flight commentator, Jesse Gonzalez, confirm the successful completion of the early phase of today's flight and all systems continue to operate nominally. Our next event, Centaur Main Engine Cutoff, will occur in approximately five minutes. I'm now